Oh man, so boy, the irony, the irony. Lizzo has been hit with a lawsuit by a former dancer for alleged SH weight shaming and creating a hostile work environment. We're blowing my mind as a weight shaming, but, but, but the irony, bro, I read through this article from Variety and they're detailing the lawsuit. We're going to go through this together and I'm going to tell you my opinion. But the irony, the irony, bro, these folks be phony as hell. All right, let, let's, let, let's read through it, man. So shout out to Verity. The writer is Dania Garcia. Shout out to her. Let's get through this thing. Smash like button, subscribe if you're new to my channel. We on the way to 60K. Subscribe if you haven't already, bro. Just hit the subscribe button. Don't be a hater. You watching. Most of y'all watch before. Just subscribe so you can continue hanging out with your boy, man. Come on. Smash like button. All right, so Lizzo and her production company are being accused of SH and creating a hostile work environment by a trio of the team's former dancers, according to a legal complaint filed Tuesday. The lawsuit, independently viewed by Verity, was filed in Los Angeles County Superior Court against Lizzo, her real name, Melissa Vivian Jefferson, her production company, Big Girl Big Touring. We're going to talk about that later. Hold on. We're going to talk about that later. And Charlene Quigley, captain of Lizzo's dance team. So the dancers, plaintiffs Ariana Davis, Krista Williams, and Noel Rodriguez have allegedly sexually, um, have alleged sexual, religious, and racial harassment, disability, discrimination, assault, and false imprisonment, among a slew of other charges. We're gonna keep reading through this, all right? Hold these things in your mind. So one of the most striking details of the suit alleges dancers were pressured due to fear of losing their jobs to touch new dancers during a live sex show in Amsterdam's red light district notoriously known for its prostitution, sex theaters, nude bars, and clubs. The main event of the night was a club called Banner Bimber, Banner, Banner, Banner Bar, Banana Bar, or whatever, where patrons are allowed to interact with completely new performers. The lawsuit states, while at ban Banana Bar, that's, that's killing me, <laughs> goddamn. Things quickly got out of hand. Lizzo began inviting cast members to take turns touching the new performers, catching idols. What they wild. I heard them big girls be freaking. But um, they say catching dildos launched from the performer's vaginas. Y'all reading that? They was catching dildos launched from the performer's vaginas. So they launching dildos with the vagina? That's some, they do a lot of kegels. That's a lot of kegel work. All right. And eating bananas protruding from the performer, performer's vaginas. They was eating bananas protruding from performer's vaginas. Lizzo is nasty. Lizzo then turned her attention, allegedly, 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 allegedly. Lizzo then turned her attention to Miss Davis and began pressuring Miss Davis to touch the breast of one of the nude women performing at the club. Lizzo began leading a chat, goading Miss Davis. Miss Davis said three times loud enough for all to hear, I'm good, expressing her desire to not touch the performer. So Miss Davis like, man, I don't want to touch him. Lizzo like, Miss Davis, Miss Davis, you better do it. You better do it. I'm trying to pressure to do it. Do the nasty. Be just as nasty as her, bro. So, all right. The complaint continues. Plaintiffs were aghast with how little regard Lizzo showed for the bodily autonomy of her employees and those around her, especially in the presence of many people whom she employed. What? What? All right, so representative for Lizzo did not immediately respond to Variety's request for comment. So plaintiffs also alleged Lizzo again invited them out without telling them they would be attending a nude cabaret bar, robbing them of the choice to not participate in the lawsuit states. Another particular instance accuses Quigley, the dance captain who also doubled as a judge on Lizzo's Amazon reality show, Watch Out for the Big Girls in 2021. Keep these things in mind. Of pushing her Christian beliefs on two dances. According to the suit, after discovering that Liz that Davis was a virgin, Quigley routinely discussed the subject, brought it up in interviews, and even posted about it on social media, broadcasting an intensely personal detail about Miss Davis to the world. Quigley allegedly referred to Davis as a non-believer, according to the suit, and was quoted saying, No job and no one will stop me from talking about the Lord. So quickly did not immediately return uh, Variety's request for comment. The accusations against Lizzo also include calling attention to one dancer's weight gain after calling her out for not being committed to her role. 
pay attention. In professional dance, a, waist, a dancer's weight gain is often seen as that dancer's getting lazy or worse off as a performer. Lizzo's and Miss Scott's questions about Miss Davis' commitment to the tour were thinly veiled concerns about Miss Davis's weight, which Lizzo had previously called attention to after noticing it at South by Southwest Music Festival, the lawsuit states. Although Lizzo and Miss Scott never explicitly stated it, these questions were accompanied by Lizzo's statements made after the South by Southwest Music Festival gave Miss Davis the impression that she needed to explain her weight gain and disclose intimate personal details about her life in order to keep her job. So basically she's saying Lizzo never really said it, but she insinuated by saying you not you you look like you're not dedicated by the way you look and how you coming in. Because she's saying, what else are you insinuating? How else do I look like I'm not prepared? That's what she's insinuating. That's, that's what the lady is saying. That's what she's alleging. All right. So hold these thoughts. We're going to come back to it. All right. So the complaint additionally states that Davis was fired in May for recording a meeting where Lizzo had given out notes to dancers about their performances. Williams states that she was publicly fired due to budget cuts, but the suit points out that no one else was fired that day. Before that, Williams claims... She had spoken up at a meeting in which Lizzo accused the dancers of drinking before performances. Rodriguez reportedly complained to the manager about the decision to publicly fire Williams, an intimidation tactic that Lizzo repeatedly, repeatedly used with dancers during an April 27th meeting during which she told the team that she had eyes and ears everywhere. You feel me? Goddamn Lizzo out here like Puff Daddy on making a band, nigga. You know, had they had walk for cheesecake. But for me to eat, not for y'all to eat, because y'all got to watch y'all wait. All right, so according to the complaint, Rodriguez resigned as a result of Davis and Williams' firings. In a statement shared with Variety, the dancer's attorney, Ron Zambrano, commented the stunning nature of how Lizzo and her management team treated their performance seems to go against everything Lizzo stands for publicly, while privately, she weight shames her dancers and demeans them in ways that are not only illegal, but absolutely demoralizing. Mm -mm -mm. And I ain't that a goddamn shame, man. I'm gonna tell y'all really what I really think about this whole thing. And now it's time to just talk candidly. Um, these folks be lying. These industry folks, they be lying and trying to push the genesis. Lizzo knows damn well that being big isn't right. She know that shit ain't right, but she finds it profitable. And she was even coming at some point when people were saying, like, um, criticizing her for pushing being big to the forefront and then being mad when people throw it in her face. She was like, I was never doing that. But your whole company's name is Big Girl Touring. You had a show about big girls. Your whole thing is about big girl, big girl, big girl shit. You feel me? So when she knows the shit ain't right, because she's trying to detach herself from it, and then behind the scenes, she's shaming other people for their weight. Allegedly. Allegedly. I think she just holding them accountable to be on point. To be on point and be in shape the same way that these fitness trainers were shamed for saying that she looks like she's not in shape. And had a great weight. That's what they're saying that she was doing to her own dancers. Crazy as hell, bro. So Lizzo used her size for sympathy. All in reality, behind the scenes, she knows that it is some issues when it comes to being able to be in shape. Allegedly, based on this lawsuit, lawsuit, you know, she could look at somebody based on his lawsuit said, and could tell they're not in shape or not focused or determined based on what his lawsuit says. Now. I want to see how people are going to react to this lawsuit. Like, is it? It's so many layers to peel back when it comes to these reactions. Are are, are they going to be like on that that innocent until proven guilty type vibes, or are they going to be on some believe women all women type shit? Because these are women that are affected by a celebrity now. So how are they going to take this whole thing? I'm going to come back to y'all with my opinions about the whole shit. You know, now, but um, as of now, these things are true. If these things are true. The only thing I think Lizzo did wrong was the SA stuff when it comes to the, 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 the nasty, freaky stuff with the new people and her dancers. That, that's wrong. You can't force them to be as freaky as you and doing stuff like that and like coercing them into doing. That's wrong. That's SA. And if those things are true, she need to be held, held accountable for that. And she better be lucky that it's just a lawsuit if these things are true. She, she got she to be held accountable for that. But other than that, when it comes to just trying to make sure that they in shape, on point, in their best shape, hold them accountable. Just like, it's nothing wrong with that. That's her doing her damn job and holding her dances to a high standard. The fact that it's funny is that the way that she could tell that, uh, that she's allegedly using the tell if they're in good shape is by just looking at her. But when we do that shit, we wrong. But when she do that shit, 
we we gonna see. Make sure I smash the like button, subscribe, and turn on notification bell, Joe, so you can see me coming back with some reactions. I'm gonna go ahead and find and comb through some reactions to the situation to see how people are taking this in. Are they on Lizzo's head for this, or are they waiting for more proof to come out? Because we we see how these things go. But if so. This is some funny shit. Like, like some funny shit. Hey, man, y'all smash the like button. Wait for the next video, man. It's your boy Stacy, and I fuck with your reason why, because you fuck with me. Hey, I'm out.